Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spade Adventures. Welcome back to Spade Gals Productions Gaming and Unboxing Channel. I don't know why I did that. But I'm Jake Spins, who also owns and creates on Spade Gals Original with Girl of Cyclones, Quinn Core, Floralai, and vlogs as well as art videos. So, if you don't remember, in the Smash Brothers Ultimate Unboxing, because I don't know how far apart these are actually going to be, I unboxed Ganondorf and Marth. Now, you might have thought that was strange. However, I had gotten those because of, um, they reissued. It, it's still launch day. Uh, they, they reissued today, so I, I had gotten them. And the Amiibos hadn't come in. I forgot that we pre-ordered it on Amazon. And when my mom opened a box, all of the Amiibo were in there. So... The way we're going to do this, because for some reason they also did the Octoling 3 pack today. They did. There's a lot going on today. There, There's now orders for Chante Pirate Curse limited edition for Switch. Like, there's so much going on. There's Kanamari Domacy that releases today. Like, what the heck? What is happening? But um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do the three Smash Brothers Amiibo, and then... We're going to do a different video on the Octolings. I did think about doing the Smash Inkling and then the Octolings together, but I decided to do it this way because it's three and three. All right, so first off, we're going to start off by unboxing Bubble Wrap, Bubble Wrap, we're friendly, bubbly, bubble wrap. Ridley, because he was the closest, you know. The one that's associated with bubble wrap. Uh, I, I didn't have anything else. But here we go. This is the new Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. Did, did that sound nice? Did that sound smooth? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But... Uh, I'm just too excited. But here we go. This is the new packaging, which actually looks really nice. And I like it so much that if you missed it, my Piranha Plant art video. I know I mentioned it a lot. But it actually uses this type of style for the background. The uh, the back of the Amiibo box, because I like that. And it says their name on it. Um, and actually, since we, uh, we have an Amiibo that released... You know, this is the reissue mark box. Uh, so you can see it's very similar, except for the new one actually has a gradient effect on the actual cross. So now, Mr. Ridley, are you ready to be unboxed? Okay, I seriously don't know what I'm doing. But uh, here's the back of the box as well. Uh, almost forgot to show that. But now, let's tear him open. Okay, seriously, I, I, <laughs> how'd I go from friendly bubble wrap to that? The world may never know. <laughs> My God, I need to, I need to remember for these videos. I'm always, like, the, the whole point is that I'm unboxing the item. And Ridley is now upset. Um, <laughs> but the whole point is that I'm unboxing it. And then what I'll accidentally do, oh, shoot. Don't get rid of the name. There we go. It's not too great on the front. But what I'll accidentally do is I'll put it on my lap so then you don't actually see what I'm unboxing. It kind of nullifies the point. Well, part of the point, because the main point is actually to show off the product. Which here is. Here is the product of Ridley, which, interestingly enough, he actually has... Oh, he's doing his side B. I just realized that. Because actually, with this side B, you have this little particle effect that goes and he slides across the stage. That's really cool. And you know, at first, I, when Ridley was announced, I thought he was really cool. But even though I liked his moveset and I liked the idea, and I do, I do like the design, the thing is, I still saw him as just generic brand purple dragon. You know, and while technically he's space pirate, and there's a lot of people that might get upset about that, and I'm I'm sorry, I'm I've only played Metroid Fusion. I'm not the biggest Metroid fan, so 
you know, but I can understand the hype of wanting Ridley and stuff. And he is a cool character. It's just that his design is, well, really cool and very, very extremely detailed. Like, man, this amiibo has so many, so many carves in him. It's crazy. But, um, it, the design, it, it doesn't have too much outstanding that's going for him just as a character so i mean they did bring out a nice amount of into him like the these like pencil tip claws are really really nice like that's really cool i mean they're not gonna yeah thankfully they they made sure they were dull so that's not gonna hurt you which is good however they do have spikes on his um on his head and then you have the wings which have little hexes in them let me cover my face because Ridley is more beautiful than me. Again, not sure. <laughs> I'm running on hype of Smash. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you've got the tail right here, which kind of curves around. And now knowing that it's his side B, this is actually even more cool. Uh, because usually it's their, it's their pose. And I think his pose is actually him doing a side B, which is, which is pretty cool. And, um... There are actually a few amiibo. I forget the exact amiibo of what it was, but it's actually technically not on the stand at all. Ridley is kind of on the stand. He's on the particle effect, but his um his one foot right here is half on the stand, and then his other one just the toes are. So actually, if you didn't have this particle effect, one of his feet would basically not be on the stand. So that might be another reason why they did it. They also do still have the uh, gold smash standard right there, too. So that's Ridley. Really nice looking amiibo. Really happy about how he turned out. Next one is... Tiny bubble wrap. Tiny, tiny little bubble wrap. Woo! Inkling. And on the back is hitting Bowser with that high C orange. Look at that. I guess technically it's more Cheeto orange, but who's really counting? Interestingly enough, I don't know why I said counting, but interestingly enough, the uh, the color for Inkling is actually pink, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Now, granted, you could argue the fact that the regular Inkling amiibo is very very close to <clears throat> this amiibo. It doesn't have that much different going from it. However, if you're a collector or you really like Splatoon. This is a figure that you definitely want to get. And keep in mind, the quality is still going to be better. Because, A, you're paying $15 for it. And, yes, that doesn't actually make it better quality. But Nintendo has now learned from their past. If you look at the Mario Amiibo compared to an Amiibo that's being released today, you can definitely see <clears throat> there's a huge difference in quality they're better at hiding seams and just all in all looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and let's open this up and go da na 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 da 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 na 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 da 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 na 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 da na 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 da na na da na 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 Okay, um, I was gonna go until I finished the thing, but I kind of ran out of song in, in my memory banks. But there we go! There is a nice little inkling right there. And soon, the right to it. Holding her by a thread. Probably don't want to do that, though, because I don't want to... I don't want to drop my precious amiibo. Oh! And, uh... There's actually another little elbow stand right there, too. I wonder if I could use that for something. What would I use this for? I don't know. But I'm curious. Maybe like a stand or something? But here we go. Well, I did say yes. <clears throat> Amiibo is very close to the original one. You know, has the pose of already being in motion. Which you can tell by, um, by how the body is curved. As well as how the, how the tank is. And the tank is not filled either. That is also a very nice touch that they have that. Now, the question, too, is that there are Player 2 Amiibos. 
So I'm kind of curious if they'll do that for um for this game too at some point because the only characters that got it were the DLC characters. So I'm wondering, will we actually see an Inkling boy? Um, and then who who else is like an alternate costume? I mean, there's still ones like Robin, We Fit Trainer. There's not a female villager amiibo. Female villager amiibo looks so nice though. Um, but we are getting um, Isabel, which is pretty cool. So we've got a lot of pretty cool stuff on this figure. We've got the uh, the nice tent attack uh, shoes, I believe, with the nice blue laces. You know, very classic design with the splatter shot, the white t-shirt and black pants, and of course you have the writing. Now. It is interesting because you can actually tell on this figure that it's not just a blank, like, slate or just single curve. There's actually movement and curve. As you can see on the left side right here, there's an actual curve that's going in so that you can tell that she's actually moving. And she's like this instead of, you know, just straight up. So that looks very nice. Her arms are very noodly, which is kind of funny, but that's that's the Inkling style, you know? Um, the only thing that I can see that just looks a little off is at the back, I don't know if this is for all of them, but at the back of mine at least, there is that crease there, and that is a pretty big noticeable crease, but you're generally going to be looking at it like this, not like this. There's also, I don't know what happened to my voice. There's also a some wording on the back as well, and then a nice little tag on the shirt. And it does look like there's, in mine, there's some, like, green paint that kind of came off inside of the um, actual tank. So that's, that's a little bit sad, but also another thing with the um, Inkling Amiibo is that it, it feels like, it looks a little more glossy than, um, than the other Amiibos. I'm kind of glad the uh, the Ridley one is hunched over because it looks really funny looking at them next to each other and seeing Inkling's head above Ridley's, <laughs> to be honest. And then the third and final Smash Amiibo that came out um, for today, which it's an interesting combination. Woof. Woof and Ridley make sense together. However, um, with Inkling, it's kind of interesting. I believe that the reason they did this is actually because... These were three characters that were announced very close to each other. Of course, Everybody Returning was announced, and Nintendo knows that a lot of people really like Woof, so maybe that's why they specifically did the Woof Amiibo. And, um, you know, they haven't done too much on, um, on Star Fox, so again, might be the reason why they uh, chose Woof. But Inkling was the very first newcomer that they announced, so makes sense. And then after Inkling was Ridley. So that's probably why they did those two. Um, not specifically categorizing them by any certain way. I am looking forward to the uh, the next Amiibo. Because I do have uh, pre-ordered Ice Climbers and all that kind of stuff. And Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant is going to be so fun. Yes. I'm so excited. But here we go. Let's open up a Woof. And unfortunately, he gets no bubble wrap around here. You know, he wasn't sponsored. That's, he's too evil for that. And you might be saying, well, Spins, Ridley is evil. He's literally a space pirate. He stole the sponsorship. You know, he he threatened to take all of their cake. And, you know, Wolf, he, he just, he couldn't take the people's cake. He was like, mm, I can't do it to him. It's, it's too evil. I don't know. Um, but there is the back of the box. Nothing too special. Nothing too much to write home about. Um, but it does look pretty cool. The front of the box definitely looks a lot cooler than the back for for Wolf. But the main attraction. Oh. I didn't realize there was actually like a little tape piece there. That's weird. The main attraction is the actual amiibo figure. Now, I don't know what the heck happened to Woof, but he jumped through Brawl 
into, like, a time machine and just got, like, thrown straight into a car wash. Because look at him. Like, I mean, the the purple pops really nicely. And it you wouldn't think it, wor it would work because it's, like, a bubblegum pink with, you know, this, like, fairly bright purple. And then it's with, like, all this insane, like, sharp metal clothing like look at his feet if he kicked somebody with that like that would hurt like who needs knives when you have shoes like that he could literally just be slicing cheese cubes just by kicking that's insane um he also has this belt that's even through the jacket which looks very nice and it's even opened at the front pretty cool the other nice thing is that they they nailed the idea of the fur texture on this, which, again, like Ridley, that's got to be very hard and very detailed to do. Um, I would say maybe that's another reason why they did it, but there's um, fairly more detailed characters that they still need to do. And um, Inkling is a fairly simple, nice, easy design to do. Kind of Kind of like a palette cleanser in a sort of way. Maybe that's why we did Inkling second. No, Inkling was actually on top of Wolf. <laughs> but um, if you look on the back, I think that's probably the Star Wolf logo. Or, you know, the, the Twilight logo. <laughs> okay, let me stop making fun of Wolf. He's he's pretty cool. Um, and I can't wait to see what changes they make for him. You know, he's got um he's got some straps on his little gauntlets. He's got his claws out. He's got his bandana. And then, like, just look at look at how detailed this is. I could go on and on about how much detail they have gone into this. He's even got a freaking metal chain by his blaster. And his blaster even has a spike coming out of the holster. Like, this man is ready for battle. And uh, let me just end by showing you the, uh, the actual eye patch, which is going over his eye. And has, like, a little, like, scar patch? Which is interesting. I'm um, not exactly sure what that's all about. But it, it looks cool. So there you have it guys. That is the three amiibo that came out. Alongside Smash Ultimate. Being Ridley, Inkling, and Woof. If you want to uh, get these amiibo. They are $15 now. Uh, $15.99 maybe. Or $14.99. It's one of the two. Um, and they are a little more expensive than the smash for amiibos but keep in mind looking at these figures they look a lot better and they have a lot more detail than those other amiibo i'm sure if they remade the smash mario amiibo he'd look pretty crazy so do keep that in mind um but if you want to get them you can find them on amazon you can find them on best buy target uh target probably online you know, a lot of retails, Best Buy still has their Amiibo out, but a lot of retails, Walmart, you have to go online. Your best bet is probably going to be Amazon, if that's the case, especially since usually during the holidays, if you do get a gift card for any shopping place, it would probably be Amazon, at least that's my assumption, but I honestly don't know. Uh, but you can pretty much find these guys anywhere as far as i know um but hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you think of each of the amiibo i i like them i'm glad they're in my collection and i definitely cannot wait to figure out all that spacing especially since i have three more amiibo to go all right guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later keep toasting